Hey everyone, today we're going to be installing mesh onto a tile roof. We're going to be using steel mesh. The method's going to be we're going to butt up against the end of the second row of tiles. Um, and the tools we're going to need are a drill, a quarter inch nut setter, and a pair of tin snips. Let's jump onto the tile rig and have a look at it and install it. Now before we start, what we're going to do, we're actually going to bend up uh, these long clips that we've got here, these safety clips. We've got a particularly flat tile that we're working with, so bending the end of these clips up helps. Although even if you've got a more sculptural tile, you might still want to bend up the last sort of one inch of this clip. That's going to help us to insert the screw through as we're putting the mesh on top of it. You'll see what I mean in a second once we've got it in position. So what we're going to do, we're going to pry up a tile here, and we're going to hook that piece underneath. We're going to hook it so that, that hook shape is facing down so that it catches on that first tile. And then you can see how that clip that we've bent up, you can see how that's uh, actually sticking up just a little bit. And that's going to accept a screw a little bit later. So you can see why we've needed to bend that up a little bit, just to give us a bit of space. Install these clips every 1.8 meters. Next, we're gonna roll out our mesh. We've gotta make sure that our mesh goes up to that second row of tiles. We're gonna put the gutter trims on. We're gonna put the first screw in the first position and then we're gonna put the final one in, make sure that it's sitting nice and square. Once that's tacked in place, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put those remaining screws in. Just work your way along this section of roof. Just butt each of those trims up next to each other. They don't have to overlap. They're designed just to fit up right next to each other. Next, we're gonna trim that mesh so that it's perfectly in line with the start of that second row of tiles. The mesh is gonna be butting up next to the end of that tile. So that's why we need that cut to be pretty precise. You can see here that the mesh is sitting nice and square up against that second row of tiles. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to screw uh, the mesh to that safety clip that we've bent up earlier. Because it's bent up, there's gonna be lots of space for that screw just to travel down underneath. As you're doing it, it'll make perfect sense and it'll, you'll feel uh, what's happening as you're installing those screws. Next, we're going to be installing what we call the standard clip. Uh, we're going to pry up that tile. We're gonna get these little bobby pin sort of clips and then wedge it between a couple of the squares of mesh and then push that up underneath the tile. That's just gonna make sure that that mesh is held down really nice and neatly. Now, if you've got a small aperture mesh, like two millimeter mesh, you might have to trim one of the strands just to fit that little bobby pin shape clip through. And that's all there is to it. You can see that those clips are holding that mesh firmly in place. We've got that longer clip, which screws down, holding the mesh down. And then here, we've got those small uh, little bobby pin sort of clips holding it in more regularly along the mesh. That'll help keep it nice and square now I should note, with the tiles that we've got here, they've got a very flat profile. So depending on the tiles that you've got, you might have more sculptural ones. The process is exactly the same. And if you've got any questions, just shout out and ask us. And we're happy to help you at any time. 